object moving relative to another. In simpler mode, it's a force between two surfaces that sliding or trying to slide across each other. For example, when you try to push a book along the floor, friction makes the movement difficult. Friction always works in the direction opposite to the direction in the, which the object is moving or trying to move. Friction always slows a moving object down. But sometimes friction can also be problem to us such as producing heat, cause waves of energy and cause wear and wear problems. In order to overcome the problems, we should reduce the friction. Types of surface and mass of the object are the two factors that affect the amount of friction. We as a team design an experiment to study the effect of types of surface on friction. Number one, type two, way to reduce friction. Number two, objective, to investigate the relationship between types of surface and the distance traveled by a current car. Number three, problem. Does the different type of surface affect the distance traveled by a point car? Number four, hypothesis. The rougher the surface in contact with the point car, the shorter the distance traveled. More friction. Number five, variables. Manipulated variables. Type of surface. Responding variables. Distance traveled by a point car. Frictional force. Control variables. The mass of toy car, type of toy car, height of plank, the amount of force to use to push the toy car. Number six, apparatus and materials, wooden plank, toy car, measuring tape, ruler, bricks, carpet, manila car, glass, and yoga mat.
The distance traveled by the toy car is 163 cm. As the fourth surface, we have selected the glass. The car has traveled 173 centimeters. As the fifth surface, we have selected the carpet. The car has traveled 138 cm. As the sixth surface, we have selected the moon. So with five with five bricks there is for forty degrees. Therefore, our hypothesis has been 